Hello, welcome to my video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do journal statistics by group. So in the previous uh, tutorial, I already show you how to do journal statistics, but that one only applies to, for example, floating point data or this, you don't need to consider the group. But sometimes if you, for example, if you do some uh, remote sensing image classification, and after that, you might need to summarize, um, for example, what's the area of each land cover type within each city or each state or each country. And uh, also, for example, what's the percentage of each land cover type in every city, every uh, state and country. So those are the simple questions. Uh, um, if you're a GIS analyst, you might want to know. And so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do that um, very easily. In order to follow this tutorial, you need to install the GE Map Python package. If you have not installed yet, you can follow my previous tutorial on how to install the package. And after that, you can um, uh, clone the repo. Uh, and then because we're going to use the examples here, if you go to examples, um, notebooks, and if you scroll to the end, there's one called Zonal Statistics by Group. So after you have downloaded the, um, the repo, then we can get started. So on my computer, I already uh, have this one here. And all you need to do is just to open Jupyter Notebook. Okay. The notebook. And it's open a Jupyter Notebook on your browser. Then we can uh, go into the folder again examples notebooks and then journal statistics by group so for here i'm going to show you two examples the first one is how to analyze a national land cover data database in the united states uh, also how to analyze global land cover using the modis uh, land cover data so and you see here the source code is pretty simple and straightforward first of all we need to import all the packages, uh, Earth Engine and the GE map. Then we can create an interactive map. Keep that in mind, you don't really need to create a map in order to do statistics, but I'm just going to show you the data. Essentially, if you don't need a map, all you need to do is just import, and then you get the data, then you just run this line of call. It should be the same. So, but we're going to show you the data uh, visually. And once we create the interactive map, so here, this code block basically adds the national land cover database for the US to the map. And we're also going to add the United States uh, state boundary uh, polygon to the map. So let's execute. Now you should have this map right now on your browser. Okay, so this is the national land cover database uh, 2016. Next, let's add a legend to the map. So this is the built-in one. I will have another video to show you how to add customized uh, legend to the map. But for now, just uh, assume that uh, to make it like, uh, easier, just add this one. So now you should have this one here on the map. If you maximize, you can use the, for example, the inspector tool in here. You can click, for example, anywhere. It's showing, for example, the land cover 11, right? So if you scroll down here, land cover 11 is open water. You can click anywhere, for example, click here land cover 82 so if you scroll down here to get a look at the lander this is uh, cultivated crops okay so the lander is a nice way that you can um, uh, check the data and uh, see what each uh, color represent of what land cover type okay and let me uncheck this one so now uh, all we need to do in here is to set the output file path because similar to the previous tutorial about journal statistics you need to you can export the data as a csv or as a swap file or json or kma or kmg so those are the five data format you can export and all we need to do is just call this function called journal statistics by groups and you need to provide the raster the earth engine image so in this case here we are using the land cover database um a classified land cover database and then all we need is just a, a, a Facial collection, for example, in this case, we're using the United States. And 
this is the output so we set the output uh, to this folder and the file pass this we're going to uh, download it as a csv and the statistical type we're going to use sum so there are two types you can use you can either use sum or you can use percentage in this example essentially we're trying to uh if you let me load the uh, um turn on this one so in this example we are trying to calculate the length cover uh, total area of each lane cover type within each state, right? So in here we have the state uh, polygon, and each state has different lane cover composition. So for example, some state might uh, might have a lot of uh, agricultural uh, cultivated crops. Some states might have a lot of forest. So for example, simple question: Which U.S. state has the uh, highest uh, lay, uh, uh, agricultural crops? or which state has the highest percentage of uh, forest, something like that. So this is what we are trying to do here. And this is the line of code, okay? So you need the raster to uh, classify image. You need the vector, and then you, you this is where you're gonna output, and the statistical type. So th there's also one, the so-called denominator, and by default, it's, be, it's calculated using square meters. So square meter, sometimes it might be too big. For example, you are doing national scale. You might want to convert uh, square meter, for example, to square kilometer. So in this case, with the denominator, we are di uh, dividing the results by one million. So to convert uh, the unit to square kilometer. And the decimal places is how many decimal places you want to keep uh, for the re uh, result. So all you need to do is just execute and everything else is uh, automated while it's running it might take a couple minutes uh, but i'm going to show you here what the source code looks like so this is the source code behind you can go to the github page to uh, if you want to look at more so in here um if you scroll all the way to the end this is the, the source code so it's almost uh 100 more than 100 uh, lines of code and it took me hours to uh, implement and um, uh, test it so so that you don't have to do that by yourself and um, it's not like simple task it's, it's it's a bit complicated because it's if I go back to the example here to show you here it's a state um, might have different length cover composition and not every state has the same number of length cover types so when you're trying to calculate the results, sometimes each polygon might have maybe, for example, in total, you have a lot of uh, classes. Some might only have a few classes. And when it's being exported, um, you need to make sure that all classes are included. Otherwise, uh, the data is going to be messed up. So anyway, it's already downloaded. And all you need to do, go to your download folder. And you will see this one here, NLCD, the one we just downloaded. And all you need to just open. So now you will see here, again, this here are all random. So you cannot really change like the uh, the order, which one to go first, because when us engine export the data, it's um, randomized, so you never know. So this is like class 81. You can go back, basically, this is the value of that uh, image. And so 71, 82, right? If you go back to um, here, this shows you like the number, for example, 71, 72. So you can correspond that to um the length cover and there's one additional column called uh class sum so the sum means like total all the classes add up together so for example in this case if you select this one and then look at which state uh it is okay so for example row island what's the total length cover area so this one is also the basically the size of the polygon of the shape and these are all the square kilometer so the size is square kilometer and, and you can you can um you can also change to percentage. So all you need to do, if you want to calculate percentage, you just change this one to percentage, and then you also calculate that one for you. Okay, so this for the uh, national land cover database for the US, you can also do global land cover analysis if you want. So again, we create the map, then we add the, the modis land cover data. Okay, so you see here, modis land cover, and then we can, um, at the laser, um, similarly in here, pretty quick, right? And then you can click the inspector to inspect the value if you want. And in this case, because we only have the modis length cover, you can um, 
load the swap file from your computer or you can use existing uh, country free to collections from the Earth engine. But in here, I'm going to show you, you can actually load a local uh, swap file and then put it onto Earth engine. So in here, I'm going to just load this one. The data is within the, um, the uh, Earth engine images data. Okay, so it's in here, you can also get one from my GitHub. And then all you need to do, similarly, you just pass in the land cover you want and the country. So this country is from here, the uh, converted from swap file to uh, image by uh, uh, facial collection. And then this is the output where you want to put a file. You can convert it to uh, swap file if you want. You just stock SSP. And in this case, we're going to calculate just the percentage. So we we're trying to calculate um, it, the, the, the land cover type percentage, the percentage of each land cover type for each country. And then decimal place is two and convert it to uh, square kilometer. So it might take some time because this is global scale. But keep in mind, it's, it's, everything is automatic. So there's not much you need to do. Okay, you see it pretty quick. Then go to download uh, global statistics, open. So you see here class 10, 11, like 8, 10. Again, this is class sum. So now this one here is uh, uh, percentage. Okay, so each length cover type. But this one here is still a square um, square kilometer. No, probably square meter. I need to double check the source code. Anyway, so that's all for this video. You see here it's right now, it's pretty easy to calculate zonal statistics by group. If you already have some uh, uh, semantic uh, data layer, for example, from a uh, lane use, lane cover classification, or can be any other data type, um, as long as it's integer. And then you can do this one, you can overlay another swap file or a free collection. Then you can do zonal statistics by group with just a few lines of code. Okay, that's all for this tutorial. Um, if you enjoy this one, please consider hitting the like button and uh, subscribe to my channel. Hope to see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.